My brothers, I see you have survived another week. Congratulations and welcome, everyone. Welcome to the church. Now let us wait until everyone has taken their seats. The chickens were too tired today, so Leo, Sir Leo has come along to join us. Right, now then, musk, brothers, book, dog, I am, we are, the MGTOW Church. Yes, ho oh, ho, yes. But let's not count our dogs too soon. The real battle is about to begin. Before we get too deep, I would like to take this moment to thank all of the new initiates to the MGTOW Church. You have my thanks, and you are welcome to all of our shared knowledge. Find the Discord link within the comments. If it is not there, just wait. I will provide. Remember who you are. Do not give up on yourself just because bad things happen. When a terrible moment has transpired, use it. Remember who you are. Remember that adventurous boy within you, the one which never gave up. Now, make that child within into the man that you are and always have been. This is the mindset of the apprentice, the initiate. By ending this, you will have shed the skull cap and have donned the robes of the journeyman. And with this new way, one can never go backwards, only forwards. It's your only path. Be consumed by this new power, and do not ever stop learning. Utilize your mind to ascertain what is fact, what works, and what does not. Store it all away, and keep searching, as only after you have found out what you seek you will truly know it. As an example, I will usually keep looking after I've found what I want. It is never in the last place I look. So, remembering who I was, I am adventurous, a lone wolf, a survivalist prepper, and ghost ninja. My personality attracts people. I enjoy leading, teaching, and developing new ideas with other people. This, to me, is extremely odd. Because I love to be alone. All of these traits, though, they seem to have a common thread. Survival. Our ancestors gave this to us. Each of us came from a long line of survivors. People who made it through ice ages, impactors, war, and so much more. These are the things I had forgotten. Now I have. No, we have remembered it together. Who we are. Yes. But I bet you're dying to remove that skull cap. But remember, and remembering is only half of it. To become this journeyman is only to know. And to know what? Well, that's exactly it. I, for one, cannot tell you what. That is for you alone to do. For an example, I know what I want. I know about my deepest dreams. I know my quest, and I know how to achieve it. I will survive. Armed with the knowledge that the universe surrounding me provides, I, Journeyman, you, Journeyman. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Remembering who you are, and knowing 
What you want makes you the journeyman. But you must be thinking, I feel the same. Nothing's changed. I say to that. In time, things will change. One cannot think the past into anything other than what it was. Don't be so stupid. These words, powerful, are but tools. Not bloody time machines. Remember, once you have it, you won't know until later. One more example. I myself wore that very same skill cap. I wore it for years. I was already initiated. I had been the journeyman for a long time. So, brothers, for those of you who still wear the cap, shed the ego and don the robes of the journeyman, we all know you will do your very best. And any of you who do not know, you have not failed. You will find what you seek. And when the time comes, initiate yourself with our blessings. As this power is not external, it is internal and eternal. Phew! That was just a quick speed run through initiate to journeyman. You're welcome. Ding, ding, ding! Journeyman comes with special unlocks. Nice. Well, what are they, you ask? I will tell you. Also, sorry to all of who that know this stuff already. I'm not telling you. We are telling them. Hmm. So, about the unlocks. We will share this knowledge with you. Unlock number one, the path to enlightenment. Unlock number two, the Phoenix Protocol, functional immortality. Unlock number three, life goals, always important. Unlock number four, wisdom now stacks up and builds up. Unlock number five, the zero fucks given attitude. <laughs> Plus, many, many more, including the chance of IQ increasing, chance of happiness, and also PP growth has been recorded. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, major bonus is wisdom not only stacks, but it now only creates 50% sadness. Now that's an unlock. Happy days. Well, that's enough of that for now. Let us pray. We will pray for all those poor fellow humans who are sick, dying, or dead. We cannot ask for miracles, but we hope that their suffering has not been in vain. We hope the sick heal. We hope the dying have lived great lives. And the dead, may they rest in peace. Their mortal coil is no more, and their life force evaporated. But the soul is eternal, and its journey will continue on. A MGTOW. Hmm. Quite somber. Let me mention briefly about who is in the past. Before we bring this all to a close, the thinking mind, the ego, is who is living in the past. It cannot interpret new strange things due to the mind thinking from a past point of view. Therefore, it takes time to understand anything different. Remember, know what and knowledge, the free aspects of the journeyman. Okay. Lastly, somebody had suggested that I should have a look at the Proverbs 31. And it would seem to me, out of the mouth of a woman to a king, she spilled some red pills. 
Now let us enjoy some, shall we? I will, however, cherry pick, as this woman spoke some BS in there as well. Mind you, after further research, the BS was, or still is, an old Hebraic song. And the song to me seems like the rules a woman should live by, sing to herself to remind her of every day so that she knows what to be for a good man. But that's beside the point. Anyway, verse 3. Do not spend your strength on women, your vigor on those who ruin kings. Mm. Verses 8 and 9. Speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Speak up and judge fairly. Defend the rights. Hmm. Lastly, verses 29 and 30. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive, and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord shall be praised. And to me, that means a woman who is praised, who fears the Lord, does the good things the men want, the things that came before MGTOW, the things they stopped doing which made us exist. If they fear the Lord, if they fear the way, then that would make a good woman, and we should praise it. Other women would see this as an example, and that would be leading by example. Anyway, that's enough of that business. May you all have a really good weekend, or what's left of it. Make the most of the week. Do not wait for your moment. Create them. Trust no one. Believe nothing. And question everything. Now, let's see if the dog can turn it off. Come on, buddy. Oh, I know you're sitting down there. Come on, let's turn off the video. Come on. Oh, you don't want to. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, come on. Here we go. Beep.